may be on the course and on TV looking like he's a country club boy, but down deep in his heart, it's jeans and boots and football and barbecue, and he is a true Texan at heart. Ninety-eight is the year I decided I want to give this a shot. I qualified for the U.S. Open as an amateur. I was a junior at Texas A&M. And that was the year I said, this is what I want to do. The first nationwide tour event that we did was in Adelaide, Australia. Played two rounds, missed the cut. Both of us were kind of in dire straits financially. I think I borrowed like a thousand bucks from my stepdad. And so we end up going to Christchurch, New Zealand the next week. And I think he shot 63 the first round and had the lead, won that golf tournament. Became a rookie on the PGA Tour the following year. First time I ever played a Sunday on the PG Tour, shared it with you, and so one of the best putting displays I've ever seen, and motivated me to be better. So thank you, and congratulations. Hey Dad, congrats on making it into the Golf Hall of Fame. You're good at driving the ball, but you aren't very good at driving a car. Love you. We roll into uh, our dreams come true, Walt Disney World, and uh, I shot 68, 68, 68. Six shots back going into Sunday. The day starts and I uh, birdie the first five holes. Birdie after birdie started rolling off. I don't think I was even thinking about it being a win. I was just thinking about it being so much fun. And then it chipped in on like 12 or 13. And then before we know it, we're done and he shoots 62. I'm not 22 under par. And we're just kind of waiting for these groups to come through. And each group would come through and I was like, wow, this is actually happening. This is happening, this is happening. Watching VJ play the last few holes and uh, for some reason, I'll never forget, I'm sitting in that room knowing he has to hold out from the tee box on 18. <laughs> so we're waiting for that one shot they land. And that was the probably the moment that solidified, I think, Ryan Palmer on the PGA Tour. Hey, RP, it's your younger, better-looking friend Jordan here. I wanted to say congrats on your induction into the Texas Golf Hall of Fame. What an incredible honor. It's really well-earned. The Ryan Palmer Foundation started early in Ryan's career. We wanted to work first with a children's hospital in the Amarillo area because that's where we're both from. When kids are in the hospital, you know, they can't leave. So we provided an area for them to come out, to go outside, and get fresh air. We came in, put a putting green, some water features, flowers, trees, benches, and just uh, give these kids a place to go and, and be a kid. We started doing golf scholarships as well as the um, what is now called the Brighter Smiles Initiative. And through the years, we added the Breast Cancer Initiative. Our goal is to work with underserved people and families in the community to create life change for them. That's what the PGA Tour is all about. I'm very proud to be able to, uh, to give back. Congratulations to you and Jennifer, because it is a team thing, and your kids. Um, I know I'll see you soon, man, and um, man, proud of you. What up, Dad? Congrats on making it to the Hall of Fame. Thank you for teaching me the game of golf and always being a role model. I still don't like the Aggies. It's hard to believe when I finished Texas A&M that I'd be sitting here today, about to start my 20th season on the PGA Tour. 467 events I've played, over 304 cuts made. I think I'm now in the top 40 of career earnings and then four PGA Tour victories. And I think the one thing that I, I've been here so long is I love the game. I love to play it. I love to work at it. I love to, I'll sit on the range and hit balls for 20 minutes and I'll hit one shot and go, oh my gosh, I gotta do that again. 20 years of playing the PGA Tour, uh, you don't see that that often. One of the biggest reasons that Ryan has kept that card and kept going is that he never tried to be somebody he really wasn't. Ryan is a phenomenal player, obviously, but you know, he stands for what golf is all about. He stands out on the golf course and off the golf course, just the person that he is. I will forever be indebted to this great state and to the game of golf in this state, what it's provided. I'll choose Texas over and over. It's God's country.